What's up, y'all? It's your girl Leah back with another video. So, I've noticed that you guys really enjoyed the Zillow related content. Make sure you guys remember that I am a licensed realtor in North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Georgia. All of these things that I'm saying are my opinion alone, and honestly, it is not meant with any ill intent towards the realtor, the seller, the future buyer, or anything of that nature. None of my comments should be taken to heart. Plus, most of the time I love the properties. So today we're going to be reviewing a record breaker. I saw this post on Facebook from a fellow realtor in my brokerage. And apparently this is the most expensive house to ever hit the market in North Carolina. So I think that we should definitely go ahead and review it considering we just reviewed the most expensive home on the Charlotte market right now. So we should just go ahead and dive right into it. I don't want to hold you guys up too much longer. But if you guys need any real estate assistance, make sure to go ahead and reach out to me. Let's go ahead and get started. What's up, y'all? Okay, so I finally got the, the listing pulled up. And for some reason, I'm seeing a listing that is at $97 million, But we're going to bypass that because is it, something just seems off about that. So... We're going to go ahead and go to the actual listing that I saw based off the article. And maybe later on in the video, I'll go over the article with you guys. I don't know. We'll see how long this video takes because this is a very large property. I hope that they included as many pictures as freaking possible so that we can see everything. Um, I'm really excited. And I, for the last, the other videos that I made, I had blocked out the address. But this one, it doesn't have the address anyway. So... We're just gonna go on here and just take a look at it, see what's up with it. It looks like there's plenty of greenery around. You guys know I'm from, I'm from Louisa County, Virginia. Okay, so <laughs> that's not where I live at currently, but y'all know I'm I'm from the from the country. I love to see the greenery right off the top. So they have 35 pictures for us to go through. It looks like it's in the mountains. I love that. There's a pool definitely need to have your landscaping game on point okay like you need to have a whole team i'm sure at this price point at 49 million that's what the price point was yeah 49 million almost 50 million yeah you're gonna be hiring a team to cut your grass i'm sure that you will not you will not be out there cutting your own grass okay oh you got a view of the mountains the sunset okay i'm sure I'm absolutely sure that these people host. You will have to be okay with hosting. You know what I mean? Like, and then there looks like there's like a little cabin at the um on the edge too. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I'm gonna I'm zoom in so you guys can see. But that is gorgeous. Love the sunset. They made sure that they captured that. Okay, okay. So you can kind of tell, like, you know what I mean? This this home is luxury. Okay, this is luxury. Now, I am a fan of wood accents. I am a fan. I know some people are more fan of like the, you know, the newer type of luxury, like with the marble and all of that good stuff, or like just strictly um, white painting and um, or white walls and some black accents and stuff. I love that look too, but I am also a fan of old school, natural, like just wood accents. Let's see what else okay they got they have okay it's a lot of it's a lot of wood throughout here but that just, honestly that just tells me that this home is probably worth what they put it on there for <laughs> so they got that grand piano in there these people definitely have like some very expensive taste um i love it though it looks very very nice um they even got the fireplace in there they probably maintain that very well let's go ahead and see some more wood Okay. I feel like, so when I was younger, right, my mother used to clean houses that not, definitely not as big as this one, but definitely like something similar. They weren't on the scale, but I feel like this home is giving me like the smell that those homes used to give. And it wasn't, it wasn't a bad smell. So don't get me wrong. It was more so like a, it was a distinct smell though. Like, I can't, I can't, I wish that I could, it's like more so, maybe the wood that was, that's present, that was like just radiating in the house, but it wasn't a bad smell at all. Like, it's just giving me like back 
pushing me back to some memories for sure. Definitely used to have horses around it. This, these people have like a little horse right here. I don't know if you guys saw it in the last picture. Oh, look at that. See it right there? So that's kind of giving me some nostalgia too. Okay, let's go ahead and go forward. Okay, so we got like a round type of room. I don't know if this is a study or a powder room. I don't know what kind of room this is. They got some, look at those large windows. I mean, not large windows, these large doors right here. I can't even tell where in the house this would be at. It's a beautiful room though. Oh, they have multiple, all of these are doors. All of these are doors. Or are they windows? Mm. Y'all, I don't, I don't, look. Let me tell y'all something, okay? For any of my clients that want to purchase a $50 million house, okay? I'm going to help you. But let me just say, I don't know much about this, 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 this type. This, I don't know much about this, okay? <laughs> I will educate myself. However, in the current state right now, today's date, I don't know much about these. I don't know if these would actually be windows or if these would be considered doors because they have, they have handles on them, okay? They have handles, but they also have windows. So I guess it can count as both. So this is gorgeous though, I love this. It's definitely giving me like, I don't know. It, I, don't, I don't know why it's giving me Greek energy. Okay, okay, I like this. I like the color of the room along with the wood. Definitely beautiful. I like the, y'all know I'm a fan of wood floors. Always been a fan of wood floors. But if, you, if you're gonna live in this home, you have to be okay with wood. Like clearly the, the whole entire home is literally like designed with wood. Okay, we got some interesting wallpaper. Um, I bet you this home like, do you know how much wood they actually had to use? <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking about the wood. But even the staircase is made out of wood. This home is very expensive. Like very, very, very expensive. Um, they just got they got some tiling on the floor, you know. It, and I didn't mention that it's seven bedrooms and 13 bathrooms. So I'm sure some of those are half baths and some of them are full baths, but you know, we'll see as we go through. So this is the kitchen. They do have some marble in there. Okay. So me personally, not a huge fan of marble, but I think that they made it work. Honestly, it doesn't look terrible. It looks, they, they put it together very, very well. I think that whoever buys it, they probably will end up changing that wallpaper. But I think that the marble looks good. And then they have like, is that a fireplace in the kitchen? That's cool. I've never seen that before. So that's definitely like a cool piece to the kitchen. They have a different type of wood flooring than they do in the um, one of the other pieces that we just saw or other uh, sections of the house that we just saw. But it still works. Like I do still think that it looks good with the, the marble countertop and um, the fireplace. Okay, so we have another round room. I'm not sure if it's actually round or if it's just the ceiling that's giving it that, that you know, type of perspective. But I still think that it's gorgeous. They got a pretty chandelier in there. It would be really, really cool if those um, curtains were automatic. That would be really cool. If all of the curtains in the home were automatic. Oh, the view. Okay, so we saw a view of the mountains outside, but now you get that view in your room. It gives you castle vibes, like, and I hope that I'm not like, you know what I mean? Like losing you guys, like <laughs> with my terms that I'm using, but honestly, like it gives you the type of feeling that you would, you know, back in your childhood. And if some of you are guys, sorry, you know what I mean? But back in your childhood, when you would think of like how a princess's room would look and how it would be like huge and you would have like the, the curtains or not even the curtains the little drape over your your bed because they have though that type of look there like that's what it gives me like i feel like someone with money is going to be sleeping in this room and they're gonna wake up to this this um view with these drapes or the this this canopy over top of their bed. I think that that is gorgeous. I would love to wake up to that every morning. And one day we will, one day we will. I just need for you guys to like, comment, and subscribe and reach out to me if you 
need any help with your real estate journey. No more of my shameless plugs right now, at least. So then again, we still got like a very gorgeous room with a very nice view. I love windows, huge fan of windows. Um, the wallpaper, I don't know if that's wallpaper or what type of like material they have on the walls, but I do think that that texture, that look is very nice. I haven't seen that before. Usually it's either plain white or some other color, you know what I mean? But that was very interesting to say the least. I can't tell what type of, I don't know if those are flowers or what, that's on the walls. But like, I think this is like the third bedroom that we saw. And it looks like they have like a, a cream type of taste in this house. Um, I'm still seeing the wood floors, love that steel. I don't think that it's going to look bad. They have um, updated lighting looks like in the ceiling. So that's good. Looks like there's some lights going around the edge of the ceiling too. So that's really, really cool. They added, like, I feel like with this home, it's gonna really, really, really be important to point out the small details, like the lighting that goes around the ceiling. Cause you don't see that in every house. Okay, this room, this is that, this gives hotel for sure. This room in particular gives hotel solely because of the wallpaper or because of the material that they use on the walls. And it looks like it even goes into, I don't know if that's a hallway or if that's the closet, but it go, even goes into that room or into that area too. I like the oval door that they have right here. Um, yeah, this definitely is like, you, they probably use this as a guest room or, you know what I mean, something of that nature when they have people coming over. But I still think that this is really, really nice. I like the blue and the uh, brown together. Okay, so we're out. We're outside now. This is a huge area. I've seen a bunch of different outside lights like this. It's really, really nice. I like that, I like that look. They got another fireplace outside. And I think this is where we, what we saw in the beginning that had the view of the mountains. So you have even more space to entertain people. Oh, and it, there's another fireplace on this side too. So, and then there's more, there's more wood. This home, honestly, like, you might as well say that it's mostly built out of wood. So I wonder how long it took to build that. I would be extremely curious about that one. So we've seen this view before. This is more so in the daytime or, you know what I mean? Not when it's um, the sun is setting. Okay, so this is an actual view of the house. And what did I tell you guys? I told you that these people, they're gonna have somebody to maintain that landscape. Like they have the bushes like perfectly trimmed like, I, I guarantee if any little tiny little piece of the bush was to pop up, they're gonna have somebody like quick there in a hurry to cut it because that is like perfect. I'm sure they did it for the listing as well, but whatever, you know, it's still very, very, very clean. The roof doesn't look bad at all. How many, they might, they probably have a bunch of different fireplaces because I see one, two, three, four, I just, I, I see four in the pictures. So, or in just this one picture, okay? Have we seen this room yet? I don't think that we've seen this room. I just love high ceilings, man. Like even in the industrial style homes that I look at with the high ceilings, I'm, I've always been a fan of that. When I was a student at VCU, it was always like one of my dreams to live in one of the apartments that had uh, the high ceilings and stuff. And now that I'm into real estate, my one of my dreams is to own homes that have like industrial you know what i mean style um ceilings with the exposed piping and while this is not an industrial style home it still has very high ceilings and i would absolutely love that they did not miss the mark without me saying too too much <laughs> okay so it looks like you can look over the you can go upstairs and look over the living area i always have a hard time figuring out which area is the actual living area when it is like these larger homes because they have more than one area that you can sit in. So, but I do think that this is probably like the actual living area because you can see the bar stools um, here and then you can see the kitchen. So they probably actually use this space and 
you know what I mean? When people come over or if they want to, they just sit here and maybe there might be somebody in the kitchen and that's probably the space that they utilize the most. They also have a TV right there. I think this is probably the first or second TV that I've seen in the entire listing. Okay, so we have another bedroom. They got uh, an updated like ceiling fan in there. I'm sure that that comes with like a remote. So you'll be able to like just lay in the bed and use that. The other ce other ceiling fans that I've seen that are like that usually have like a remote that goes with them. And at this price point, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, yeah, they have the same ceiling fan in here. I definitely wouldn't be surprised that if they were um, if they were powered by a remote. Okay, so yeah, I, I I told you guys these people definitely entertain. If you're gonna have a house this big, be prepared for a lot of people to be coming to your house because you have the space. And I'm sure that anybody that needs seven bedrooms, you either have a lot of children or you just have a lot of family and friends that you want to be able to stay comfortably when they come over. So this room has two beds. If it's big enough for two beds, then put them in there. You know what I mean? Like there's no point in not utilizing the space. Oh, okay. So you have like a little movie area. That's a nice touch. And at this price point, I know I keep saying at this price point, but at 50 million, you should definitely have a movie area. It looks very comfortable. I don't know how many people, I guess it could sit, it could sit a good amount of people. I can't really tell how big the screen is, but I think that's still cool that they even have that in there. I wonder how many times they actually use it. They have a huge outlook on that, of the mountains. Like this is someone that probably just like, just likes to just be away from like society, honestly. Those are beautiful. Bushes in the front. There's a pool over there, so this home probably, it, it definitely requires a lot of maintenance. Definitely requires a lot of maintenance. Like, I wish that they did like a video tour, honestly, like where you could just like walk through the house. Like, there's a lot of people that do tour, like they'll set up like this like tripod and they'll just let the tripod uh, scan the room so that if someone like me or you are on there, on Zillow, we can like literally just like almost walk through the property without, you know what I mean? Having to actually be there. It was really, really nice. I don't know how deep it is, but the pool is really nice. It looks like if I were the owner of this house, I would take walks like almost every morning because this is so gorgeous. Their landscaping people probably don't play. That, look how big it is. There's so many different like subsections of the house too, or of the property. Like you have this area over here. I'm not sure what that actually is. But I don't, I think this may be another building. Then there's like the pool area that has another building or another like structure over there. I wonder who owns this house, honestly. Like I wish I could find out. You got a waterfall, gorgeous. I wonder what they do out there. I've told you guys like earlier that it gives like a Greek feel. And now that I see this oval or circular, you know, um, space on the outside, it definitely, that even more um, solidifies that statement for me. <laughs> There's a lake too? Wow, okay, honestly, if you like pools, if you like the lake, if you like, just like, if you like nature in general, this is probably like your dream house, honestly. Yeah, this is really, really beautiful. I would literally take walks every single day. It would make me sad. If it actually, it probably is so gorgeous out there when it rains, like, or when the rain is clearing. Probably beautiful. I know it's beautiful. See, they got a bunch of different flowers out there. I guarantee if someone was to like buy this house and rent it out, like for like a wedding venue, they probably would do really well. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Love the mountains in the background. They're definitely doing their part. The mountains are. Hey guys, so as you guys can see, we just saw a almost $50 million property and this home is, they say it's the record for North Carolina. I'm sure that whoever, you know, whoever does buy it will be a very happy buyer because there's literally almost nothing wrong with this house that I could tell. I really, really appreciate each and every single one of you guys for tuning into this video. I hope it was enjoyable for you guys. If you guys liked it, make sure to go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to your girl's channel. I do plan to record one more video before I go to sleep. So go ahead and keep a lookout for that one. 
Thank you guys again for watching. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.